Hey, how's it going? This is Josh from Books by Josh. And as you probably have guessed or seen, I've been away for a while. So in one of my earlier posts, I said that a big change was going to happen and it's about to happen. So I've been preparing for that. But <laughs> something I saw in the show called Lily Hammer on Netflix that I believe is canceled now caught my eye and made me think. And like I said, you learn every day. And I actually had a conversation with the rocket scientist today about it. And it's actually about Gorilla, how he opens a banana. So, us as people, we tend to open bananas. Or anybody opens a banana from the top. You know, it's, sec- it's natural instinct. It's second nature. But if you look at Gorilla, he opens it from a different angle. He opens it from the bottom. You might be saying, oh, but the brown stuff comes from there, blah, 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 all this stuff. I'm not, it's a metaphor for what I'm about to say. We have to look at a problem and come at it a different way. Think about it. We all see a problem and we're just trying the traditional method to solve it. We got to take a step back and look at it a different angle. Okay, a lot of people always say this, but this banana analogy made me think about it. Because I picture me opening a banana and then a gorilla opening a banana the opposite way. But we both get the same results and for the gorilla that's easier. Hey, I, I tried to buy a banana today. I couldn't to try it out and see, but it's just another solution to the same problem. And what if it does take less effort, you know? So, it's funny because... I was dealing with a gentleman by the name of Ira Neemark. In my store, he's a former CEO of Bedford Goodman or something like that. It's a big retail chain back in the day. When I say back in the day, I'm talking about the 80s and 90s, you know. Bergdorf Goodman. It was a department store in New York, of course. And he recently had an issue in my store, not with my store, but with his device and made me think of a solution outside the box. Okay, instead of saying no, 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 I came up with a solution. At the end of the day, my solution showed I was willing to help and provide something, even though at the end of the day, we didn't get the problem problem rectified in the way he wanted but we still got rectified as long as I tried that's all he cared about he even said if he was still CEO he would have hired me because he saw that I tried my best and that's the whole thing we look at these problems and we think we think they're unsolvable but they're not for an example the college professor of astro of rocket the rocket scientist astro uh, plasma physicist. He talks to me. He was here early this morning. So all this literally happened today. So I'm getting excited because I'm remembering the conversation. And we're talking about how him and a couple of his buddies get together. There's three of them every Thursday to solve issues. These problems are given to them that are deemed unsolvable. Sometimes they solve them. Sometimes they don't. Was given to him by grad students in Colombia, and they've tried everything of their knowledge, and it just doesn't work. But they look at the problem differently. These professors, because they're all in well into the 70s, you know, they're not young guys, but they enjoy it because they have experience. They tried open the banana from the top, so they already know what that leads to. So they are quick to try to open the banana from the bottom and sometimes they're successful the other times they crush the banana you know but as we were talking we were talking about the newer generation i say newer younger generation i'm not going to call it gen z whatever you want to call it the millennials none of that because there's no such thing okay we're just putting a name on something they i'm not going to say they ask for everything on the platter they set unrealistic dreams. We talk about that today, that they want to get their PhD done in five years. No. 
That's wrong thinking. Even the professor agreed with me. Set a goal for eight years. Okay? Don't try to burn yourself out, you know? You look at it. Oh, people say you're supposed to complete in this amount of time, get your bachelor's in four, associates in two. Yeah, that's a perfect scenario. In all my life, I've never seen a perfect scenario. Okay? Prime example, you flip a coin, it's supposed to be 50-50, right? Half heads, half tails. You do it 10 times, it's not going to be 5-5. Five, five. Do it 100 times, it's not going to be 50-50. And sometimes it lands on the side. There's nothing perfect. There's no perfect scenario. Things happen. We live in something called life. And life waits for no one, as I've said many times, time and time again. You have to plan for anything. That's why you have to give yourself time. Stop looking at the traditional sense of opening the banana and look at it from the opposite angle. Okay, set aside the time and money necessary to give yourself an extra year or two in school. I know I'm rambling on. It's just the conversations I had today were amazing. Like I said, I meet people all different walks of life every day. Okay, this professor teaches at Columbia and Mr. Niemark. He has a couple books out there. You can look them up. Ira Niemark. I-R-A, last name. N-E-I-M-A-R-K. R-K. He has a bunch of books out there. He was a big businessman. And he does seminars in Columbia whenever they call him. Okay? So, like I said, I'm meeting all these people and learning from them. Hopefully, I transfer some of their knowledge to you guys. If not, I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.